All right. Okay, hello guys. Um, to a quick After Effects tutorial. Actually, I'm starting these now. And these are just some basic tips. Um, really, really basic stuff. If you're getting new to After Effects, so this is uh, sort of this outline blinking effect. Actually, it doesn't blink. It's just you know, just look at it. See, did you get that? Boom. Again. It's cool. Um, and those particles, I won't be showing you how to do them. Um, it's done with particular and some, you know, 3D camera work here, some depth of field, very harsh blur here, and the background is very easy to do. I'll show you everything. Okay, so you're in After Effects. Let's click on this button to create a new comp, and we call this white outline um, you know beam like that um, 30 frames per second that is a bit big let's set that down to 900 and by 600 600 3 by 2 that's cool uh, 30 frames per second 300 frames, that's exactly 10 seconds. So first off, we want to create our background. So put in a new solid, make home size. Color doesn't matter because we want to, or actually, what you can do is, um, you know, go in here, effect, right click on it, by the way, effect, um, generate, and then, you know, create that ramp that everybody loves so much, and then make it radial, choose two cool colors, like, you know, some grayish blue here. That is looking pretty cool, but oops. But um I mean you don't have very much control over this. So what I always do, delete the ramp here, is control shift Y to uh change the settings for the solid. What I always do I choose a cool color here, like some dark purple, very dark purple, nearly black down there. OK, make comp size again and hit OK. We can see this. Yes, this is very dark purple. And then I get in here, uh, duplicate this layer, Control Shift Y and change that color to something else like grayish blue. Hit OK. And what you can do now is, um, you know, create a mask for this and move that mask down by thing. All right, okay, just you know, just grab it like that. Okay, this maybe put it in. Hold down Control to you know scale it amount. So hit F on the layer to create that feather, and that is looking pretty cool. And this is especially helpful to get several colors done because with the ramp you only have two colors. Um, that you can, you know, you have to intersect, but in the, with this way, you actually have more control. So I could put, duplicate this, move it up. Nope, not the whole layer. I just want to move the mask. Double click the mask, move it up. You know, like somewhere like here in the middle, maybe in the middle. And then Control Shift Y to change the color to maybe a bit more purple, like that. And there you go, or like, like that. So, can hit T, bring down the opacity, and that gives us some nice coloring here. And you have full control. Don't use the gradient too much, you lazy, you lazy people. Okay, uh, next up, we need our writing there. Um, it's a bit small, let me bring that up. I use a font called Sci Fi. I think I think it's um, on nearly every Windows computer by default, but I might be wrong. So, and I write this. Nobody knows what it means. I do, actually. Okay. So we got our writing, and to get the outline, we actually need to create masks from this um, thing. So we simply right-click on the uh, text layer 
and hit create masks from text it's going to create our masks here and it automatically automatically turns off the um, the actual text here but we don't want that that's that's not good <laughs> because this one is going to be just our outlines and effects on these masks and we want to have a generate and there we choose the stroke effect and then we want to choose reveal original image and actually I'm gonna turn off the uh, real text and I'm gonna turn off the masks to see if it worked and it worked but um, you have to click all masks like that right so now we have um, transformed these masks into you know into actual strokes so we can play with the thickness of them like that or we could just leave it as it is because I think it looks cool so um, we need to animate the stroke and we have the start and the end position here Let's play with them and you can see that is what it does so end is the end and start what am I talking about okay um, so we want to have both at zero in the beginning like that and then we go like frame 25 set a keyframe for the start or opacity not zero opacity is 100 and the end and um, go forward in time here I don't know just how long you want to have your animation and set both to 100 like that right okay so what we need to do now is come on the layer and hit by the way hit U to bring up all the keyframes and now we need to offset the start position keyframes like that a little bit just a little bit so now we got you know every just like a snake crawling along the letters here. Very, very nice. I like that. But um that is let's let's have a look at this actually. Looks also pretty cool. If you like that, you can leave it like that. Or if you want to make it like my example what I did is I stroked them all at the same time. Uh and that's actually what we're gonna do. So um, we just uncheck this stroke sequentially and that will create all strokes at the same time uh, let's have a look at this again whoops come on right looks cool but what I did also in my animation was it looked more energetic and that's because I speed it the animation up in the middle part so if we choose all our keyframes here by click keyframe assistant and then we hit easy ease and there it says F9 but for some reason it doesn't work whatever there you got it right click keyframe assistant easy ease um, now we got these easy ease, key, easy ease keyframes so it's going to ease in and ease out as you can see that right and it like slows down at the end but we want to have it more like cooler because that's cool so we click this little um, graph editor what's it called and let's make some room here not that much room and uh, zoom in or alt scroll to zoom in and let's hit the first or the last key from here and draw that little yellow button out and the same down here but um, be sure that it's not like uh, vertical straight up because then your animation is gonna get skippy I don't know if that word even exists um, it's gonna just skip over some parts of the animation if it goes um, vertically like like that don't make it like that <laughs> just like that and I think the uh, start animation curve always has to be above the end animation curve because 
if it's underneath, what you're going to see is that your lines sort of then come from the other direction because you have your end first and then the start, which that. You, you you got it. Just make sure the yellow curve stays above the purple one. So draw that out and draw this one out as well so that you've got a nice um, animation here. And that's let's let's preview that. Shing. Shing. That looks cool. That looks cool. Pretty awesome. Can we see it again? Please, sir. Hello. Oh god. Awesome. Okay, I'm seeing down here this one, that one. If you take a closer look at that one, okay, it's all right. I thought it would disappear. Make sure it's always above it. And if we zoom in here very carefully, we see this is actually. Um, you can draw that up a little like that, and draw this one up so that you make sure that all the time there is something to see of this line um, yes okay uh, go out of the graph editor next thing we need to do is uh, let's see let's see so we got the writing here maybe we set the transfer mode or actually we can just hit T and bring down the opacity on that one and we'll give us some cool look or you can play with the transfer modes Maybe set it to 100. Hit F4 to bring that up. And maybe hit it. To set it to I don't know linear. Uh, soft light. I meant to click there. It is soft light. Okay. Um, yeah, these lines are looking pretty, not pretty cool. So we can always play with these settings, make them thicker, or brush more brush size here. Um, Unfortunately, you can't give them like an opacity boost. What you can do is right click, effect, stylize, and glow. And that's going to give us some cool glow on these edges here. And, you know, let's strength up. That doesn't matter, it's white, anyways. Okay. And that's, that's looking better. Um. Yeah, the glow is taking some render time here, but um, I think I think we're good. Uh, think about it. you can put a texture on the writing so that it looks like metally something like that. So uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Um, hmm. And I'll see you next time in a tutorial, maybe. Those things are liked. Right, press the like button because if you don't like. You're not cool. Like. Okay. Bye. See you.